To say you gotta know somebody Or know somebody To get somewhere these days To say you know that's alright Yeah, that's alright I wanted to point out, on November 17th, that's this Saturday, we're having a trust workshop. If you don't know what that is, it's, we use trust to buy houses. We don't use LLCs, we don't use escorts, we don't use corporations. We don't buy them in our name. We absolutely don't buy them in our, in our name. And if you don't know this technique, and you're planning on buying anything in the future, a house, a dog, a car, a boat, you better be at this seminar. Only people who really do this, okay, are top level real estate investors, okay? The most experienced people are the ones that put properties in trust. And there's so much to know about it. We're having a four hour workshop on Saturday. It starts at 10 a.m. You'll be out of there by three. It costs 99 bucks. I guarantee you, you will never buy a piece of real estate any other way, okay? You will not buy a piece of real estate any other way. You will never, ever buy a piece of real estate in your name again when you learn this. It's just the greatest technique. Every single property we buy, we create an individual trust for each property we buy. And the beneficiaries of those trusts, of that trust, for example, 1230 Oakland Trust, the beneficiaries of that trust is usually another trust that Jeremy and I own. Or it could be half Jeremy and half me, or it could be a third you or any other partner that we have. And there's so many amazing reasons why you want to do it. Privacy for one thing. If anyone in this room is buying properties in their name, I can dial up the MLS right here on my computer in front of the whole crowd and find out every piece of real estate you've ever owned in about two minutes. Okay? It's all public record information. If somebody wants to, if you've got some enemies, or somebody wants to sue you, or somebody slips and falls in front of your house, or somebody pretends to slip and fall in front of your house, or somebody decides that for whatever reason they're going to say they slipped and fell in front of your house, they got you right away. They know exactly what you're worth. They know exactly how many assets you have. And that's one of the main advantages to having a trust, is that nobody is going to be able to find out what you own unless you feel like letting them know. Okay? And there's a lot of other advantages to it. There's so much to talk about, I, I can't get into it right now. Only to tell you is that we have these meetings on the last Monday of every month. Okay? And uh, this one, of course, was supposed to be uh, right when uh, Hurricane Sandy was coming in. Not only did we time it perfectly with the day, we even got the timing right. Like they said, the hurricane's going to hit at like 7 o'clock, and the meeting is supposed to start at 7. So let's talk about a coincidence there. But this trust workshop is different from our meetings that we have here. We, when we have a workshop, we share with you some of the high-level techniques that we use. And we charge $99 for this class. And if you think that's a lot of money, I can guarantee you. Uh, we're doing one next month, which is going to be a different topic. And I think we spent $6,000 learning about what we're going to share with you for $99. So there's a great value in these things. The, the next meeting, <clears throat> which was supposed to be at the end of this month, we moved it to December 3rd, and that one's called How to Buy Real Estate Without Selling Your Soul, without selling your soul to the Stinking Banks. We're really we're beating up Jamie over here. He's the only banker in the room. Uh, but we, we do not do deals in a conventional manner. We do not do deals in what we call you know, an institutional deal. It's not how we do business. And when you learn how we do business, you'll begin to understand that it's a much, much better way to buy real estate is we buy it mostly with creative financing, or we buy it with private investors, or a combination of those things. And we're going to talk about that tonight and open up your, your mind a little bit. Most real estate investors, most realtors, most anybody who wants real estate, they, they own it in their names, they go to a bank, they put 10%, 20% down, whatever they have to put down, and they apply, and, and there's a whole lot of reasons why you don't want to do that. So you start hanging around with us, we're going we're gonna to try to educate you on some of the reasons why, you know, upper echelon, top-notch real estate gurus, investors, 
and educators do not buy real estate in that manner. They buy it in the manners that we're going to talk about tonight. So, um, quickly about me, um, uh, I'm an author of a book, Addicted to Real Estate, like Jeremy said. I started in the business in 1989 at the age of 23. Uh, I absolutely love this business. I'm truly addicted to real estate. It won't take you uh, 10 minutes of talking to me to figure that out. And uh, one of the things I say all the time is get busy buying. This opportunity that we're all faced with right now is one of the most amazing opportunities I could have ever dreamed of. Now, I don't enjoy watching people losing their houses. And, uh, and I don't enjoy all the struggle that Americans are having today. But the bottom line is I can create those problems for those people, and in many cases, I can help those people especially the ones who are paying their mortgage and hanging on waiting for someone to come and buy their house. And I have creative ways to buy their house where I can acquire a tremendous real estate deal and make money for myself and be proud of that fact, but at the same time I can help these people because many of these people, they just need to get out of their houses. And my creative solutions, because I have many more ways to buy a piece of real estate than your traditional real estate investor, it gives me a lot of tools in my tool bag, or should I say, in my briefcase. I'm going to share with you tonight some of the important information that's inside this briefcase. So I tell everybody, get busy buying, okay? If you're not buying real estate right now, you're crazy. You've got to be buying. And obviously, you people are here, so you, you must have that mentality. I tell everyone, I tell my wife, cancel all the family vacations. It's, it's too valuable of a time right now to have vacations. Forget vacations. We're going to make money now, and the rest of our lives are going to be a vacation, okay? I plan to make, you know, millions and millions of dollars off the real estate deals that I'm acquiring today. And if you come to rounds enough of these meetings, we always talk specifics about deals that we've just done two, three weeks ago. We're the real deal, Jeremy and I. We, we go out and we're buying real estate. We've got, right now, we're averaging about a house a month. You know, I think we're on pace to do maybe... Uh, North of $3 million, sure of $4 million worth of real estate acquisitions this year that we're keeping. I'm talking about stuff we're buying and keeping. I'm not talking about wholesale deals or flips or anything else. I'm, talking about, I'm not talking about being a realtor and buying and selling a house for somebody else. I'm talking about actual stuff we're keeping. Okay? So we're out there really making it happen. <clears throat> Quickly, our philosophy is we're buy and hold investors. Our plan is... Look, there's lots of different ways you can make money in this business, but the easiest way to make the money, and everybody says, well, I don't want to be a landlord, and I don't want to deal with people calling me at 3 o'clock in the morning about the toilet running. Guess what? That doesn't happen, okay? I've got hundreds of tenants. Nobody ever dared call me in the middle of the night. And I wouldn't answer the phone anyway, so, <laughs> right? Uh, the plan is to buy and hold as much real estate as humanly possible right now. And build up a portfolio of, you know, 10 million, 20 million, whatever that number is, all right? And hold on to that property and manage it until the top of the market comes back or whenever it is that you need to cash in some of those chips. When will the top be? Who knows? 2025 maybe? But the money I'm going to make in 2025 will far outweigh any wholesale deals, any flips, any, any wheeling and dealing as a realtor that you could possibly do, okay? And then what do you do with the real estate at the top of the market? Are you going to just sell it and take all this cash and create a massive taxable windfall for yourself? No. You're going to 1031 the money into commercial properties. If you hang around with us long enough, we're going to teach you how to do that. We do sell properties from time to time. We do flip properties from time to time. We wholesale some, sometimes as well. But we do it reluctantly. We only do it when we absolutely need the cash. Okay? If we don't need the cash, and I'm one of the few people you'll ever hear say this. i got a chapter in my book that says, don't make too much money. Who the hell says that? Nobody says that, right? Everybody in society today is out trying to make as much money as they can. And I'll tell you, if you start looking at the people you know who make $150,000, $200,000, $250,000, if you know anybody like that, start looking at them. Most of them live very high, extravagant lifestyles. They live in big, fancy houses. They drive big, fancy cars. The kids go to uh, expensive colleges. And ask yourself, what are they really doing to build wealth? Who cares if you're making 150 grand a year? Congratulations, I'm proud of you, that's great. But my point is, is if you're not building wealth, right, you are not getting
getting anywhere. Your company could collapse, you could lose your job, whatever it is that makes you earn that much money, that still could, could be lost, or maybe you have some health problems, or anything can happen, it can take that away from you, right? But when you build wealth, nobody can take that away from you. Build wealth in a form of holding real estate, where you own a portfolio and you manage it, and you put the systems in place to allow that to happen, even if you're not around to make it happen, okay? And, and I know that this is a very easy and possible goal. How do I know that? Because I've been in this damn business for 23 years. I'm doing it right now. Some of the people that are helping me do it, Jeremy, there's two ladies at the counter over there, a couple of young kids who are sitting at this back table here, Zach and Allison, are helping me do it. And I have lots of people around me you can ask them and you can learn about. So one of the things that I view myself as doing I view myself as a deal engineer, okay? My day consists of phone calls, emails, and various deals coming to me from, from all different sources, people I know, and the sources that I'm signed up for, and I get all kinds of deals that come by, and I know all kinds of buyers and private lenders. So my function in life is to be a deal engineer. I try to take the deals that I'd like to buy and some of the money that I have the ability to raise and the knowledge that I have to figure out how to make these pieces of the puzzle fit together. And if I can do that, then voila, I got myself another piece of property. I'm going to tell you about some of the properties that I'm looking at tonight. Um, this is my book. It's called Addicted to Real Estate. Why I Can't Stop It, Why You Should Start. And uh, it's $20 for 20 years experience. That's only a buck a year. Now I wanna, I wanna focus on the front cover of the book. Because a lot of times when people see this picture, they go, oh, that, that's funny, Phil, that's funny. Or sometimes they say, um, um, well, that's, that's an attractive looking picture, you know, I like that. And that is not what this is about. This little image here represents my entire real estate philosophy in one photograph, okay? Here's my wife, she's talking to me, she's saying, Phil, honey, hey, listen, and I'm not listening. I'm addicted to real estate, okay? What would I be listening to her for? I'm addicted to real estate. I'm thinking about real estate, okay? And a balloon over my head says, a $12 million portfolio with a 7% annual increase is 840 grand a year in equity. My point is, if you could just manage to have a portfolio with $12 million worth of real estate in value, that may sound like a daunting number to you if you're a new investor. But I can assure you that it's not that difficult of a level to get to if you just knew what you were doing. If you just knew how to do it, okay? And if you did, asking for a 7% annual increase, you can go back to like the 1920s and run the average of real estate increases that are just below 7% right now. So asking for a 7% annual increase is a very reasonable expectation in the real estate market. I know it doesn't seem so in today's market after the crazy ride we had going up 100% in 2005 and then tanking for eight years. But I can assure you that the normal levels of 7% increase are coming back and they're coming back soon, okay? You would, if you had a $12 million portfolio and the real estate values went up 7%, you would have just made yourself $840,000 a year in equity. And you're not sitting on a briefcase full of 840 grand in cash, but your net worth went up that much. You have real value in real estate. You can refinance a property, you can sell a property, you can sell a piece of that deal. You can do a million things with it, okay? If you, you know, how much money do you need to live? What do you need, 100 grand? You, you, could, you could blow 100 grand of it by refining any one of the, any one of the houses you want. You'd still be up three quarters of a million. That's a very reasonable expectation. Ask yourself, who makes that kind of money a year? Who makes that kind of money? You'd have to be a CEO of a corporation making $1.4 million a year to be able to bring home $840,000 a year in equity. And even if you did, have a job making that kind of bucks, I guarantee you, you ain't sitting on the beach. You're probably stressed out beyond your wildest dreams. And you know, that's the other part of what makes real estate great. You can get rich, you can make tons of money, you can make $840,000 a year net worth, and you can still be sitting on a beach. And I'm living proof. I have a portfolio, I have a team of people who manage almost everything, 
and I can basically walk away from it at any time and, and earn all the money I need for the rest of my life, including having not just making money, but building wealth. Right? When you buy real estate, you're building wealth for yourself. You're building up a portfolio. So when that 7% annual increase comes back, you're going to make your 840 grand a year in equity. This is a little snapshot from my website. I have a free web TV show where I produce short videos and I email them out to people. If you go to my website, addictedtorealestate.com, you just put your name and email address in right over this uh, video. I will send you about once a week a video about various aspects of real estate, telling you about different things that I'm doing, snapshots of meetings, all kinds of fun stuff, fun stuff. This is a fun business, in case you don't know. Real estate investing is fun. And I just did a couple of great ones while I was down in Florida. I did one called Driving for Dollars. And just to show you, I got in my car, all right, and I drove around looking for real estate deals. And I found a number of deals while I was driving around, and I had a hell of a lot of fun making that video. You'll see it. Um, all right, so let's get into the topic for tonight. 